the campfire. Here we are. We're all sitting around. We got the kids enjoying themselves. They love to roast marshmallows. I love to roast scallops. Look, they look exactly the same. Same color, same shape. You cook them a little differently, but the technique is identical. So, take your scallop, pop it on your skewer, just like that, and then we settle in for a little roast. Come on in, let's do it. Fire is in a perfect sort of, you know, consistency here, not flaming, but still hot. Bam. You want a good place to rest it as well, because it's gonna be a long haul. Unlike a marshmallow, we're cooking this for, I would say, at least five minutes. So normally with the scallop, I would say, you don't want to overcook it, right? When you go to a restaurant, you want to cut into it and almost have it slightly raw in the middle. But on the campfire, it's a bit different. I like to overcook the scallop a little bit. It caramelizes the natural sugars occurring in the scallop. It just makes it sweet. And it's been sitting in the cooler for about a day and a half anyway, so I'm not really in the mood to eat an almost raw scallop. If it was fresh out of the ocean, just give it to me like that. But we're camping, and I like the texture of a well-cooked scallop. So let's just let this thing sit. And when it's done, we're gonna have a yum, yum treat. All right, so here we go. This one is nicely done. You could even do it way more than this, but just for the sake of time, and I'm hungry and wanna have a treat. But you can see there's nice golden brown there. It's even dripping here, all the juices, and that'll keep happening. Look at that, it just comes right off. That is how tasty this is. I can open it for you. Normally I just eat it right up. But look at that, smoking hot, steaming hot. All right, give it a little blow. Mmm. Mmm. It's amazing. No spices, no salting, no seasoning, just a scallop, roast it on the fire. You can't beat it. I strongly suggest you give it a try.